Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. SpaceX's Dragon vehicle returned to Earth this week, marking the end of the company's sixth resupply mission. On Thursday, Dragon was detached from the station by the Canadian robotic arm and moved into position by ground controllers. Astronaut Scott Kelly then gave the command to release the ship to return over 3,100 pounds of experiment samples and hardware to Earth. After flying well away from the station, Dragon plunged through the Earth's atmosphere for a splashdown in the Pacific. And making that return trip on Dragon, hundreds of thousands of tomato seeds soon to be in the hands of students around North America. The Canadian Space Agency's Tomato Sphere 3 experiment exposed 600,000 seeds to the space environment. Now that they're back, thousands of classrooms in Canada and the U.S. will get the chance to investigate any changes the space trip has had on how the plants grow, something that could be important for future astronauts that grow food in space. To learn more, check out the project's website at tomatosphere.org. This week, our first grade friends with Project Discovery want to know who is the youngest person to visit the space station. Well, the title of first ever first grader in space is still up for grabs, as the youngest station visitor ever was a few years out of school by the time he went. Spaceflight participant Mark Shuttleworth from South Africa was only 28 years old when he flew to the station back in 2002. He spent just under 10 days in space participating in experiments and even getting a chance to speak with Nelson Mandela. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.